the Imaginarium is an escape room. Or yeah. The majority of escape rooms are, you know, they're in a little storefront somewhere. They're in an unused space or in a strip mall. It has a lot more of a theatrical and immersive theater element thanks to the bricolage folks. And you guys are like, all right, this is the first time we've ever done the escape room business. <laughs> Let's make it the Death Star of escape rooms. <laughs> The scare house has a big part of design as well. It started quite innocently, just going and playing the uh, first escape room that was in Pittsburgh. Really liking the idea of going with family and friends and participating in something. And it just became the sum of the parts of everybody's mind and everybody's imagination to create where, uh, where we're sitting right now. When you're creating immersive environments, you have to create 360 sets, 360 environments, and then especially with escape rooms, with haunted houses, with immersive experiences, you have no control. You can try to direct people a certain way with lights and sound, but inevitably they're gonna go right when you want them to go left. There is a certain amount of time, mm -hmm. and we don't control the outcome, which yeah. is strange for us, because in our work, there's a beginning, middle, and end. And we want to shepherd the audience towards reaching all of those points, but here we let them loose at the beginning. They yeah. make all of these decisions. And, and they may never same, get to the and end. And they may right? never. I think this might be it. This is Wendy. She has a part in the game as well. She's not just a static figure. So we play on this world where there are people who are here and people who are watching you and people who are part of your experience and they let you know from the moment you walk in that you are being guided on this journey. Greetings. What is on? You are the main character in your journey here. And that's another thing that I think is different from most experience you have where people will be like, here, I've made this for you. We're trying to deliver the kind of cinematic high detail set, but it, you're letting people actually go in and touch stuff yeah. so you can't use glass and you want to make this thing really involved, but it's got to be reset and adorable. And adorable. Yeah. <laughs> Gadgets and games can come from research at other escape rooms. There are even puzzle history websites that you can visit. Our brain power, people dream it up, and how do we do it, and they figure it out. There are certain things that somebody will pick up and be, I know exactly what to do with this. I will take this and I will go. There are other people who will pick up the same object and be like, this makes no sense to me. You have to use math, science, yeah. you have to use logic, know, uh, problem Deduction. solving, yeah. teamwork. teamwork. You can get a group of friends together, family, co-workers, and not just sit and watch, but be part of the action. It's fun to challenge people, and, and getting to watch it from the control booth is exciting and unnerving and anxious uh, all at the same time. You want everybody to succeed, but you, you don't want it to be easy. Sometimes people just look up and be like, help me. And so <laughs> typically we respond to that sort of behavior. If people are struggling or floundering, we will point them in a direction that'll get them back into the experience. Sometimes the staff gets excited when people are close, but not close enough to get the tricks. If the games are too easy, they wouldn't be that much fun. You really feel happiness when you've solved something as a team. And then you see the joy on people's faces. They're like, wow, like, how did you do that? Like, that's so magical. You're in the club if you've gone through, and then if you've gotten out, you're even more in the club. Yeah. It's like if you, you can share that with somebody that, that has done the same. If you can feel Definitely. like, oh, the people who made this really care, then they're going to have a good time. <laughs>